Hello and welcome to video number seven. Let's jump right in. So we're going to talk about title optimization. So this is extremely important because it's often the first thing that people will see as they are searching the internet. So if you imagine you go to google.com and you type in a keyword, whatever that is, and you're going to see the titles and then you're going to see the descriptions of each and every single website or with YouTube, you're going to see the titles, the descriptions, and of course the image. So based on the media in general, they're all going to have titles. So having the right titles is important. So like I said, this is really extremely important because that's the first thing that they're going to see. And you're, you're going to want to make sure that you're ranking on the keyword that is in the, the title. And then of course, when they get to the page, you want to make sure that the content fits the title. So you want to be congruent all the way. The more that, that you're congruent, they're going to get what they typed in. They're going to trust you. And then they're likely to take action if that is the case. So this needs to be set for all of your posts or your pages. And you really need to think clearly and carefully about this. Because we have seen in, in a lot of cases where people just name it, whatever comes to their, their mind. And what ends up happening is you work so hard to create the content and you attract the wrong person and they come to your post or page and you wonder why nobody is taking action, right? So this is the exact same keyword. And to make it easier for you to be congruent, if you take the keyword, that's in your URL structure, that's in your title. Make sure that it's in your title somewhere because that's what your viewers are searching for. Now, sometimes people will put the keyword straight up in the beginning and they'll put the keyword dash whatever. But what I recommend that you do is put the keyword in the title, but you want to make sure that it sounds right. It's got to be human friendly first. And then of course, secondary, search engine friendly second, because at the end of the day and the, the way Google is moving towards long term wise is towards engagement, more social engagement, people engagement. That is what is important to them, because at the end of the day, if you think about it, their goal is for people to search, find what they want. So they want to make sure that they connect you to the right person. And all they really care about is they don't really care about you. They care more about the, the customer who is the person who is searching, right? So as long as you're on the top 10 of the Google search engine for that keyword, and that keyword is appearing in the title, it's highly likely that the prospect will click through your website. Now, as, as basic as this sounds, I want to make sure that you understand that it's important. Most of your competitors are not really going to do this. And if they are, they're going to miss something along the way, right? What we've seen over the years is uh, sometimes they'll have the title, right? They'll have the URL structure, right? But when people go to the content, it just doesn't make sense. So as long as you're congruent from the keyword to the title, to the poster page, to the content itself, to the call to action, to the product, everything is congruent from that point in the beginning to the end, you're most likely going to gain the trust of the prospect and you're most likely going to get the conversion. That's the most important thing. So as long as your poster pages are related, you're most likely going to see a higher conversion rate across the board. Like I said earlier, now as a rule of thumb, your title should be no more than 75 characters long. You don't want it to be too long because psychologically that will actually overwhelm whoever is typing things in. And most people are just scanning. They're not reading. They're, they're looking for what they're looking for really quick. So if you have something short, straight to the point, you're most likely going to win as long as it's optimized and it's correct to that keyword. So now that we've talked about the fundamentals, let me go ahead and show you what you need to do to set this up properly. So we already briefly talked about the title, but this is your title, right? So a lot of times, let's say, for example, that the keyword is places to find credible freelancers. 
Sometimes you'll find people do something like this, places to find credible freelancers. And then of course they'll put the keyword first and then they'll put a sentence. You can do that if you want to. There's no proof that it doesn't work, it works or anything like that. But you definitely wanna make sure that it is human friendly first and foremost. So in this case, ours is 10 different places to find credible freelancers online. Or we could do something like top 10 places to find credible freelancers. Now, whatever you do, if you change the title here, make sure that it's changed right here as well. So if we do that and we go back over here, we just copy that in, but we need to make sure that there are dashes in between the words. So what I'm doing right now is I'm simply adding dashes in between the words. So there we go, we click OK, and that's it. So the title is crucial. Now I'll show you later down the road where you can use two WordPress plugins, which you can add more data, like the metadata, the description data, and all of that. But for now, by default, if you don't have those WordPress plugins, what the search engine will often do is they'll grab the title. So we'll click update and that's it.